Okay, so we're on to the Yamaha XG600. Sorry, just have to push the bike back in. Bit knackered. Uh, what is it? Electric start, 600cc, kind of uh, enduro bike, on and off road. Very good at both. Uh, master of none, as they call them. 1997 bike. Uh, aesthetically, very, very good condition. Really, really nice little bike. Plenty of power, torque, everything in it. Uh, Yamaha XT branding, so uh, you know what comes with that. Let me just uh, turn in the choke. And let's go for a spin. Right. Plenty of power in it. Especially coming from what I was just on, it'll uh little uh, 50cc monkey bike, I should believe, is what I was on. Just going to turn in left here. Right, XT600, I mean, uh, great legacy with the XT name. Uh, you're looking at uh, the XT500, XT550, XT600. You're looking at the XT225s, the 250s. A really great historic name that Yamaha have made for themselves here. Just started spitting rain. Uh, a few little things on the bike. It's fairly basic. Uh, indicators, everything like that. Uh, the bike has come in from uh, Spain. And uh, I'll show you later, but it has passed its NCT. Uh, not that we have an NCT over here, but we have... Um, uh, for bikes at all, we don't have any sort of MOT or NCT for motorcycles over here. It's all our own responsibility to do so. Um, but that has passed it, so everything's been checked over, tires, everything uh, that would have gone through. So it can't pass one unless it's uh, completely road legal. As for the Spanish standards, that is. Uh, so, which are, are, are a lot more stringent than uh, a lot more stringent than us here in Ireland, which is uh, just uh, as long as it drives. Uh, you can go out in the road. Drive, tax and insure it, off you go. Uh, so that's it, a little XT600. Very, very comfortable, upright sitting position. Going through all the gears nicely. Now he's got these big kind of square um, uh, mirrors on it. So it uh, feels very, it uh, feels very uh, sturdy and the, in, oh, when you're looking to the rear, no kind of vibrations through it, even though it is a big single 600. And uh, with that as well, there's very few uh, vibrations through the uh, handlebars that I feel. Uh, very simple to go through all the gears. Again, feel like there's lots of torque in the bike. Going through nice even downshifts. Nice bit of pace off, a little bit of grunt low down, which is what everyone likes in these big singles. A dying breed, uh, very difficult to get a hold of, kind of uh, looking at SLR 650, XR 650s, that kind of range, kind of uh, bikes that you're looking at are in around this. But this one is really nice to have electric start on it. Uh, I know a lot of the bigger singles like the XT 500s have only kickstart, which is uh, really can be a real pain in the arse because the big singles are. Uh, difficult to kick over. A lot of times you have these uh, kind of uh, top dead sender indications on the on the uh, top of the engine to kick through uh, properly, and then it takes ten kicks and you're wrecked. And uh, I know when you get a bit older, that's not something you want to know about. You just want to press a button and make it start. So that's it. We'll get a little picture here for the thumbnail on YouTube. So we have it, Yamaha XT600 electric start, running, driving, stopping, starting. Uh, we'll go through the electrics now, you'll see the front headlamp is working. Go to the indicators, front right and rear right. Again, past, just past the NCT over in Spain, so front left and the rear left working. And we'll do the brake as well you'll see working there too so everything electric wise is working so we'll move now from kind of ride along into the uh, visual analysis of the bike we go over the condition and a few little facts about it so i hope you liked the video up until now please do leave a like also comment down below what you think of these xt5 or 600s i should say and finally subscribe if you haven't already okay so if you enjoyed the ride along video where we went around on the xt600 
really nice presented bike sorry for the wind there good condition as we'll go around and see it and a uh, good running condition as you would have seen earlier as well so we'll start at the front go through the tires and all the way through the bike as well so front tire is okay as you can see the thread on that and up in front mud guards nice condition front headlamp and uh, indicators are original front shocks here are actually in nice condition even down the bottom it is a Spanish bike brought in from Spain I'll show you that it has passed the what is the equivalent of the NCT for motorcycles over there for 2021 going on to the right hand side of the bike now plastics up here are good a little bit of a dent in the tank here but nothing too major slight scrape up over the top beside the fuel cap handlebar area is already nice here nice condition seat is in good condition very minor little uh, uh, rip there side panels have some minor scuffing on them 600 cc there's the engine is actually good condition and the exhaust importantly are actually uh, look flawless here no signs of rusting at all foot pegs here and the pillion foot pegs are uh, there as well rear disc looks good and same with the rear swing arm up to the exhaust then nice condition rear of the bike 1997 indicators and brake light assembly original back box holder as well as there uh, no back box is present though we have the left hand side uh, panels here as well it's just had a service and all which i would have gone through in the ride along down onto the uh, side stand only no main stand tank itself is good little bit of a mark there i believe could be looks like could be tar come off uh, bar ends as well to protect the bike if it falls over from a, a wind or something like that but that's it front gaiters are good here front disc everything in nice good order uh, so i hope you enjoyed the ride along and this visual analysis of the bike and you're able to make a good decision on what to make of it now i do have these kind of bash bars under here well which i forgot to point out for the engine um but that's it for the video itself if you have enjoyed it please do leave a like also comment down below what you think of the XT600 and um, if you have enjoyed the video please do leave a like comment on it and also subscribe and if you want to reach out to us on our socials they are at retrobike Seven for Facebook Instagram and our official website is www.retrobikesdublin.com thanks for watching